Stage two, pressing for flight. LD, go for launch. Stage one is at startup pressures. T minus 15 seconds. Falcon 9A is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mission left off. Grab operators, please to section 5, 75. Post-launch flight operations. Vehicle pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. As you just saw, Falcon 9 has successfully cleared the pad and is now on its ascent with the test spacecraft in its fairing. Now coming up in about 15 minutes, you're going to hear the call out that Falcon 9 will have hit max Q. That stands for maximum aerodynamic pressure. That is the point at which the rocket is seeing its highest stresses on its ascent. Vehicle has passed maximum aerodynamic pressure. You can tell by the cheers and what you heard on that call out, we have gotten through max Q. Coming up next, you're going to hear uh, the call for MVAC engine chill has begun. And that was it. That is where we chill in that Merlin vacuum engine down to operating temperature. Now coming up here shortly, you're going to hear three big events happening in rapid succession. The first is MECO, that stands for Main Engine Cutoff, that is where all nine of the first stage engines are going to shut down. That's in preparation for the next step, which is stage sep or stage separation. There's where stage one will separate from stage two. Stage one will make its way back down to the drone ship. Stage two will continue on with tests to its orbit. And then you're going to hear second engine start. That is the ignition of the second stage engine. Let's check it out here. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one is out of its foot. And recognition. All right. And as you just saw, we had a successful stage separation and a successful ignition of that second stage engine. Now the fairing should be deploying at any moment. There we go. And you can see that tiny but strong test spacecraft inside of that or on top of stage two. Now stage one is making its way back down to Earth. What we're going to see coming up pretty shortly is a boost back burn. Grid fins have deployed. Grid fins have deployed. Both stages following nominal trajectories. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Right now, stage two is going to continue to burn until T plus eight minutes and 20 seconds, while stage one makes its way back down to Earth. Now, th there are two more burns coming up for stage one. Um, the, the next one's going to be the entry burn. That's where we're going to reignite three of the stage one engines. 
and that burn is intended to slow down stage one's descent as it makes its way through that thick upper atmosphere. We'll be seeing that at six minutes and 29 seconds or so, so in about two minutes. hearing that stage two's burn is still performing nominally. Okay, stage two's gonna continue to burn for about another three minutes and one minute until we see that re-entry burn. Now after that re-entry burn, uh, stage one is gonna continue on making its way down to the drone ship. And coming up thereafter will be the landing burn. That'll be the third of the three burns. And at that point, we're gonna reignite that center engine, E9. And that'll bring us down to zero velocity, hopefully standing up tall on the drone ship. Continue to hear that MVAC-D is looking good. Turbo pump performance is good. Everything is performing nominally on stage two, which is great news. That burn has begun, that entry burn. This burn is going to go for about another 10 seconds or so before it shuts down. And the entry burn is complete. Okay, as stage two continues to burn, we are getting the tests into a nice stage circular one. orbit where a test will then, well, stage two with tests on top will coast for about 35 minutes. As you heard, stage one is transonic. We're about 10 seconds away from that landing, landing burn. Note that the drone ship is situated approximately 300 kilometers off the coast of Florida. And as you can see, that landing stage burn started. Let's see if we can catch it. the 24th successful landing of a Falcon 9 first stage. And meanwhile, we've reached Seco, which is second engine cutoff. Stage two has shut down its first burn. Welcome back, everybody. We are coming upon the end of our 35 minute coast, and the second engine is about to reignite. Just heard on the nets that MVAC Chillin has begun, and pretty soon the second stage will be reigniting to take tests 
to its deployment orbit. In about 30 seconds, we're going to see that engine reignite. From there, the burn is going to last for about one minute before the engine shuts down again. And a few minutes after that, the test spacecraft will deploy. As you just saw there, we have reignited the second stage. And this burn's gonna last for about a minute. This is raising the apogee of our orbit so that we can drop tests off at a place where it can then properly begin to perform its own orbit raising maneuvers to get it to that point where it can perform its lunar flyby. We are beginning to throttle everything down, hearing that everything is looking totally normal on this on this burn, which is really good news. And the engine has shut down. Have that cut off. So for about five minutes. The stage is going to coast with tests on top, at which point the payload is going to deploy. Now, the way that that works is there is what is referred to as a payload adapter that is sitting on the top of our second stage, and TESS is attached to that. It's attached via a clamp band, which is basically like a banded spring. We'll send a separation signal to Falcon 9, which will then open up that clamp band, and there will be four springs inside of that payload adapter, bore compression springs, that'll give TESS a little gentle push to push it away from stage two. And after a while, a few minutes after that, TESS is gonna turn on its transmitters, on its receivers, deploy its solar arrays, and begin its mission. That beautiful image of the Earth behind us there. It's one of the planets Tess is going to look at in its lifetime. And as you can see there, we have had successful separation of the Tess spacecraft. And it's going on on its beautiful mission to look at thousands of planets outside of our solar system. And with that, that brings us to an end of our webcast as Falcon 9's, Falcon 9's job is done for today.